Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dave Ettinger. Those of you who watch me already, I appreciate that. This is the Dave Talk Sports YouTube channel, and I work at CBS Sports Radio, and you normally join me on the way home from work as I'm driving from Manhattan out to my house that you can sort of see in the background because I'm actually in my driveway now. It's 6.57 a.m., uh, June 1st. Welcome to June, uh, Monday morning. Normally talk sports, debate sports topics. I'm not going to do that today. While it can compare and relate to sports, it's not about that. Uh, there's a lot of things going on around the world and around the country. We're all collectively dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still going on, and I hope that everyone is staying safe and doing the things they have to do to make sure that they stay healthy and you know that for your friends and your, your family and everybody. Uh, but what's going on around the country is sparking a lot of debate a lot of things to talk about and to me it's it's it shouldn't be a debate but to me it's very simple but not everyone thinks like me um, we're all the same right we're all human beings we're all in what you know rat race we want to call it we're, we're, we're working to put food on the table working multiple jobs trying to just you know create the lives that we want for ourselves for our children for our loved ones and not everyone gets that chance. You know, yeah, yes, there's people murdered every day and, and bad things happen to good people every day. But it's not just about that. It's that racism exists everywhere. And it's never, ever going to change unless everybody does something about it. And we need to look as if we're looking in a mirror when we look at another human being. But how many people, t just stop right now. And you can lie to yourself, you can lie to me, you can lie to anybody you want. But how many people actually look at another human being, no matter whether they're white, black, Spanish, Asian, you know, old, young, whatever religion, whatever ethnicity, whatever sexual orientation, however, it, how, whatever you relate to or whatever you identify yourself as, how many people look at the person next to you, in front of you, around you know, people who live next to you, your neighbors, and just say, he or she is me. They are me. We are us. How many people actually think that way? Now, I'm not a perfect person. This is not about me. Okay, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about me if you don't know already. I'm a 34-year-old man. As you can see, I am a Caucasian. I am a white male. And I'll never understand what it's like to live in the skin of what people call a minority. I actually hate that term. Sure, statistically speaking, the number of people that are African American and Hispanic, yes, technically is the definition of a minority. But I hate that term because it's derogatory in its sense already. All right, that some what do you majority rules? That's the way people think, right? So that's not how it should work. We should all collectively work together. All right, so do I enjoy? Enjoy is not the right word. Do I experience white privilege but not think of it that way or not expect it? I'm sure I do. I don't have fear when I get pulled over. I don't have any fear in walking down the street or going for a run. I don't I don't have that fear. I'll never understand it. For myself personally, sure. I'm I'm happy for myself for that, but I hate that other people can't live that way. Other people have to live in fear and they don't want to. And that's a part of the reason why these protests are happening. Excuse me. Now these protests have many layers to them. And the really unfortunate thing here is that the most important message, the vital message, that a peaceful pro protest and people standing in solidarity, solidarity can change so much. But that message might get lost here because of the looting, because of the violence, because of the riots, the violent riots that are inciting. Those things might lose the message. And I hate that too. All right. 
And I wish for everybody to be safe. Again, I work in downtown Manhattan. And just from my drive home, I saw maybe 200 cop cars between where I work and the bridge that I cross to come onto Long Island. That's insane. I usually see 5 to 10 just on a normal day. I saw almost 200 because there are riots and looting and things graffiti and protests happening. Again, peaceful protests work. They can help. Everyone needs to join together. But violence from either side and looting and breaking down stores and ruining people's lives in that way is not going to help anybody. So, I hope that this helps a little bit. I hope that this opens your eyes in some way. And I hope that we can get back to sports in a day or two. But the likelihood is that that's not going to happen. So I will most likely talk to you in the same fashion in two mornings. But for now, welcome to June. I hope everyone has a safe and good Monday. Take care, everybody.